when the self-help books had offered up all their wisdom, and still my life was no different, I decided to take drastic action. The woman working the reception of the gym told me, this is, is where men, men are made, and then continued to charge my credit card. I lifted the weight of my unhappiness above my head over and over again, hoping some of it would seep out in my sweat. But instead, my biceps tore themselves apart, shredded like pulled pork, and I left more broken than when I went in. Next were the surgeons, who I thought could nip and tuck my problems. But they said there was nothing they could do for me. I was too far gone, and life transplants had still not passed their rigorous medical trials. I settled then on a small framers, who measured my worth in inches, and I found I had much more to give than I thought. They said I needed, I needed to, look to look at myself, at myself objectively, objectively, and then hung me on the wall opposite a mirror. They used their more so guillotine to cut whopping big chunks out of my life. Triangles of bad memories, sadnesses, littering their floor as dust clouded at my feet. They glued the best of me back together, underpinned the corners of my new life. Finally, they framed my face, something wonderful so people might look at it when they pass by, consider it interesting, beautiful even.